All right, time for question number two. What's the best way to handle college sports and the workload all at once? This question is from Mia Victoria. Mia. <laughs> um, I think this this is a tough one because I think it's going to vary for everyone individually. Um, I know there's a learning curve to it, especially um, I my freshman year um, dove into Division One field hockey, and I remember thinking, you know, like I've done it in high school, balancing athletics and school and I was like how hard could it be and then all of a sudden it hit me and I was like this is pretty challenging um but the best part was is that a lot of other student athletes are going through the same thing so it you definitely shouldn't feel like you're alone in this whole process of trying to navigate you know your workload practice time you know getting your social life in especially sleep it's the most important part um, of the day and I think the best way to go about it is kind of like prioritizing things and I'm a huge list person I don't know about you guys but I oh, yeah. first thing I do especially when I get to work is I kind of write out like my to do's like I look at the calendar what's most pressing like what do I have to get done today I block off times um, so I can like even if it's just a 30 minute time frame I'm like okay no distractions like no phones nothing like I'm getting this done and for me that really helped especially um, in season when we were traveling a lot we had a lot of games um, and I had, you know, exams or essays do, I kind of just made like almost like a mini time frame of my day of what I needed to get done. And it really helped me like focus and stay on track. Um, so I think that's a really good idea for those of you who kind of struggle with time management, um, kind of figuring out what's due, like what needs to get done. And then even just scheduling like a 15 minute break, you know, kind of like refresh yourself, get your mind off things. Um, I don't know, like watch a quick Friends episode on Netflix, just kind of get your mind off of it and then jump right back into it. Um, so for me, that was really helpful. And another way to handle the workload and athletics all at once is um, I know I kind of went to my friends a lot for help. Um, and we also had um, an academic staff in my um, training facility. And it was nice to kind of go to them and you know, de-stress, and she always had candy on her desk, mm. and so I always, like, would grab a Twix and kind of, like, get myself um, back in focus, because it's really easy to get overwhelmed by things, mm. especially in college, just, like, the course load alone is a little scary at times, you know, you kind of are balancing so many things at once, but I think just kind of taking time to, like, bring yourself back and be like, okay, all of this is manageable, I'm, you know, try not to get overwhelmed, and you, I mean, my friends were great people to lean on for help, and they were going through it, too, so we were kind of like, yeah, we have so much to do today, but, like, we got this, and, I mean, that helped for me, kind of, like, talking through some things, too. Do you have a day where you just didn't get stuff done, and it went yeah. horribly wrong? Yeah, so when that one <laughs> Friends episode turned into two, three, and four, <laughs> I was like, oh, this is not good. I'm, sometimes I would be last minute with things, and I just would do it to myself, and so I kind of just learned as... The weeks went on, and I kind of got more comfortable in my, into my freshman year. I'm like, okay, now I know I can't wait last minute for this, and maybe this I can push off and try to, you know, finagle it with my schedule. But it's definitely a learning curve, and, like, I think the biggest thing is everyone knows your freshman year, you it's, an, it's a big adjustment period, and no one's going to expect you to jump right in and, like, get everything done the first time. So if you fail a few times, you kind of, you know, stumble your way through a few classes, I think that's expected, and... You just learn from that and grow from that. And then, you know, as your semesters progress, you kind of get a feel for things and you become a pro in no time, for sure. I also feel like connecting, I mean, I wasn't a college athlete, but I had friends who, and they connected a lot with the professors they had mm -hmm. because, I mean, sometimes you do have to miss classes with yeah. practice and, and stuff. Professors understand, too. They know your demanding schedule and... Most of them. I don't think I had a professor who was mad at me for missing class. I think they were just like, as long as you can get your work done, you know, make a friend in class, get notes from them, and kind of um, confer with them on things. As long as you get your work done, I don't think it was ever an issue. And they would normally schedule um, hours, what was it after? Office hours. Office hours yeah. um, to kind of go over some things. They were usually pretty helpful in that process. Yeah, I had a friend who played on the volleyball team for URI, and... There was um, one time in the semester where she was getting so overwhelmed with projects and practice, and it was just the worst time for her. And I think she ended up going to her coach and just telling her that, like, like what was happening. And the coach tried to help her like work through, work through, because obviously the coach you know wants you to do well in school too. And just kind of letting them know where you're at helped her a lot. 
Yeah, definitely communication is huge. I, no one wants to see you fail. I think you've got um, like a big safety net of people it's willing to step in. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that experience. It's only one person. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think you have so many people there for you to help you kind of guide you through everything. Um, and it's definitely overwhelming. I mean, sometimes I I look back, I'm like, I don't know how I got through that because I really thought I was... It was like a struggle bus, like trying to get through some, you know, like midterms and um, whatnot. But I think time management, like learning that skill early on is definitely beneficial. Um, communication, like talking to your coaches, your teammates, your professors, and just trying to stay on task and um, prioritize those things really will help you kind of get through it all. And then before you know it, you're on Thanksgiving break and Christmas mm-hmm. break, and then you're graduated and now you're in the real world. <laughs> so not playing sports anymore that must be like the weirdest thing <laughs> yeah it is I, you know sitting at a desk now all day I'm kind of like walking up a flight of stairs I'm like whew, I'm winded uh, <laughs> how did I get here <laughs> not even a flight of stairs walk from the parking lot <laughs> <laughs> need my chair <laughs> yeah I kind of had the the opposite experience where I wasn't on any sports teams I was in high school and then when I went to college Champlain has no. Nothing. <laughs> um, so I ended up um, on like the basketball team, which was fun, and actually met a lot of great friends that way. Um, so we would have games every Tuesday and Thursday night, and then uh, I did rugby for one year, and that was very interesting. Where that was more so with like practices and uh, a lot of time consumption. So shout out to uh, Mr. Gatto. Uh, no. if you're watching this. Uh, he was the my web design first year um, teacher and then the coach in the rugby team which was awesome I think he left like right after that but uh, great guy Uh, and then uh, just doing all sorts of different extracurricular activities too and so what Katie was saying and having a timesheet and trying to figure out okay um, I think the thing that resonated the most with what you said for me was knowing what you can and can't push back Mm -hmm. Uh, know your strengths and know your weaknesses especially for me writing papers takes me forever <laughs> and uh, I just I can't uh, sit down and just bang out a paper it's, it's just not how my brain works uh, but on the size of like for coding or doing math or whatever it is that's more up my alley so I know that oh I can push that back and just it's it's easy and out of the way uh, so knowing what you can and can't do having that priority list uh, and making time for things that you know are going to be taking longer especially based off of your skill set and taking the time to take a breather is huge. <laughs> uh, I feel like most of the time when you get into something, uh, it's even to, to this day, if I'm doing a project, I just sit in the chair mm-hmm. and I don't get up and it's just laser focus. It's not good. Um, you'll find more times than not getting up, walking away and coming back to it. It uh, definitely clicks more. Uh, I find that almost every morning after a long binge session of doing whatever, it's like, oh, Let's do it you this need way. You to walk away. Fresh uh, <laughs> <the> eyes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, having the, the schedule to balance everything out is, is, is massive, and the strengths and weaknesses mm-hmm. side of things helps. I mean, I even think, even if you're not a student athlete or you're not really as involved in extracurriculars, just the schedule alone from high school to college is a huge transition. Because in high school, you go from, what is it? I think my high school, 7.30, homeroom, and then we got out at 2. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all day, you're sitting in classes and you have your five minute transitional period you have lunch um and then you get to college you're like oh i only have two classes today and they're 45 minutes each like you have your whole day ahead of you um so even just getting used to that is also a learning curve but i think i mean for me at times i know when i didn't have field hockey and i had so much open time i was like wow this is great like i can just do all of my work later i can i don't know go to the mall or go out to eat now and and even for me, that was hard because looking at my schedule and seeing how much time I had, I thought I had more wiggle room to do whatever I wanted. And it turns out I would push off things to do for later in the day. And then I would realize, oh, I'm not quite getting this. And now it's due at midnight and it's what maybe like 11 o'clock at night. So I think even just learning, okay, maybe you have um, five courses on your uh, fall semester, say, and you have one Tuesday, Thursday or whenever and you kind of like need to break it up okay so like if I have an hour between these classes instead of just going back to the dorms and just watching Netflix why don't I stay here try to get um, some homework done so then you at least have some more wiggle room later in the day but that all just comes with like 
trial and error and figuring out how you work best and like I said, like getting on that learning curve.